The CDC put out an alarming report today on suicide. Nearly 45,000 Americans took their lives in 2016. That is more than car accidents or opioid overdoses. The issue is receiving heightened attention now after designer Kate Spade took her own life this week. Jerika Duncan has new information on this. Today, a medical examiner determined that 55-year-old fashion designer Kate Spade died from suicide by hanging. This is the Spade family and friends remember. But the light that shined through for the cameras came with a darker side behind closed doors that many did not know or understand. Her husband, Andy Spade, says there was no indication and no warning that she would do this and that his wife was actively seeking help for depression and anxiety over the last five years. It's about mental illness and... Writer Dory Old says she understands what Spade must have been feeling. The 56-year-old says she tried multiple times to commit suicide before getting help. Even with the best intentions, I don't think Kate, you know, could have snapped herself out of it. When you're suicidal, you're not thinking about anybody else, and it's not because you're selfish. It's because you're not well. The CDC study out today shows half of the country has seen a more than 30 percent increase in suicide rates from 1999 to 2016. Among women, 45 to 64-year-olds have the highest rate. Approximately half of those who committed suicide did not have a known mental health condition. And for those who did, circumstances such as relationship problems, job, financial or physical health problems contributed to their suicide. In Spade's case, her husband says the two had been living apart for the last 10 months. Psychiatrist Catherine Berndorf. Any life stressors that are weighing on someone who has a history of or is currently struggling with their mental health, that's a person who you have to be worried about. Berndorf hopes Spade's suicide brings awareness to an illness, she says, you can't always see. I hope people pay attention to those around them that if they see someone who is suffering or acting unlike themselves or despairing, hopeless, withdrawing from social activities, that they check in on them, that they make sure that they're getting the help that they need. Jerika, the suicide rate is up nearly 30 percent from 1999 to 2016. Yeah. That's a big number. Why? Well, you know, the report suggests that there is no actual one factor to cause this increase in suicide rates, but it did suggest that a lot of these deaths were followed because of relationship problems, financial, uh, as well as substance use. Experts say the best thing is to try and get help. Uh, we have that information on our screen right now, the Suicide Prevention Hotline, as well as that information you can get on our website, cbsnews.com. Yeah, it's a very good number for people to know and a lot of questions being asked after Kate Spade's death. Jerika, thanks.